October 5, 1945. Claude Passeau Sr. threw a one-hit shutout in Game 3 of the World Series against the eventual champion Detroit Tigers. His son Claude Jr. was two years old, but unaware that his father would also have the endurance to throw in Games 6 and 7. He was a, a fitness freak, you know, back, back when they, it wasn't the thing to do, you know. Uh, you had to stay in shape, you had to run, you know. Uh, he won 162 games, you know, but he had 188 complete games. He never wanted to come out, he always wanted to finish the game. And, you know, I, heard, I read in a book one time that Claude Passeau may not have been the best pitcher that ever walked on the field, but when he crossed, that, when he crossed those white lines, he was the meanest pitcher. Seventy-one years later, that game-worn apparel is still guarded by pride in Loosedale. George County is probably one of Mississippi's most obvious Cubs territories, even more so after former Rebels pitcher Justin Steele was drafted by the Cubs in 2014. I was on cloud nine. It was great. Like, you know, wasn't nothing better. And it kind of domed on me, like, well, like, the guy I played, I played on Claude Passo Senior Field. He pitched in the 45 World Series for the Chicago Cubs and threw a one-hitter. Like, that's such a great honor, like, just to think about it. Like, it's crazy to think about sometimes. As newer Passo generations become aware of the family history, they'll understand how they're tied to Chicago's north side. But they're more than happy watching history unfold in Mississippi as the Cubs attempt to win its first World Series in more than a century. <music> ¶¶